Yo, what's good, y'all? My name is King. Oh, I lied. Yo, what's good, y'all? My name is Crazy Solo, and I'm here with another video. As you can see by the title, as you can see by the intro, today is my 2023 singer collection video. I've been trying to do this for a little minute, and I said I was gonna do this like once I get to my new spot. I kind of never got to it, and now I can. I finally put all of my shoes, not all of them, a good amount of them, because there's still some like in my closets and stuff. But those are mainly just pulling it's not gonna lie to you. Today I'm gonna show y'all each sneaker that I have. I'm gonna show, I guess, market value. Well, retail market value. I guess we're gonna tally it up at the end. And yeah. Also, if you're new here, please don't click the wow. Like, comment, and subscribe. You feel me? We about to hit 6,000 followers. Or I mean new followers. Uh, subscribers, and that's like really big, so. Uh, if we can get that, that'd be crazy. If only 10K on the way, you feel me? Okay, and also for those who do ask, um, I got all of my secret boxes, clear thingies, uh, from the container store. This is not paid, it's not anything. This is just, I just wanna put y'all on game. First pair of shoes, neutral grays. I got these in a size 12. I bought these in Canada, actually, for a very bad price, but we're not gonna talk about that. These pair of shoes dropped in 2021, and they went for $130. dollars are now going for $210 on StockX. The last sale was $219. I feel like they're a good cop. I don't wear them often. I didn't have to buy them, but I did. Obviously, they're neutral gray, so you can wear them with almost anything, but I don't really wear them with much. So for my next pair of shoes, we have the AJKO Union Edition or Union Collab of the um I think they're of the neutral grays as well. A tad bit wild. These I actually grabbed at SneakerCon. Yeah, the SneakerCon that just passed and when it was happening in Philly. I don't know. I just wanted to buy something that day. And I actually wanted these when I seen them in my email, but they were sold out in 2.5 as usual. Wild comfy shoe. The cool thing about them, you can like uh take off. You can take off the Nike thing, a blue one as well, that I have not put on there because I feel like it's kind of weird. They retailed at 150. These are going for 149. They are under retail. That's tough, I'm not gonna lie. I guess people don't like them. I feel like it's a pretty calm shoe you can wear with almost anything. Also, just to clarify, I don't know if I said it the right one, but those neutral grades, I put my size in as well. Their market value is 242, so yeah. Next pair of shoes. Oh my gosh, these need like Jesus. I have not worn these in I don't know how long. These are the Air Jordan 1 sales. It's, yeah, they're, they're pretty worn shoes, but they did their job, okay? These released uh, 2017, and they retail for $160. Currently, in a size 11, they're going for $495. If they got cleaned up, I feel like I could probably get a, like a cool 300 out of these, not gonna lie, but will I clean them up? We don't know, we'll see. For my next pair of shoes, we have the Air Jordan 1 Ama Manier 1s. Ama Manier's? Ama Man I don't know. The AMAs, you feel me? I grabbed them only because I had to use it for an eBay collab. Yeah, and they didn't let me get actually one of the Storm Blues, but they didn't want me to get those, which the Storm Blues I would have worn more. In terms of quality, it's crazy. I don't even know if y'all can really like tell. It's like a, it's it's weird. I don't know. And this quilt on the inside, which is super fire, and like a leather or some type of snake skin on the back tab right here, as well as the, the check, or the, wow, the check. They're a clean shoe. I don't wear them often. But I do like to, like, I don't know. There's like a lot of tender detail in this and I had to get them. They were technically free, but we're not even gonna talk about that. So these retail for $200. Right now they're going for $307 on the stock app. Hmm. I say that's pretty good. Most of the AMA uh, collabs do like pretty well. I think the Jordan 4 collab recently came out and the 12. The 12s were ugly, not gonna lie. Next pair of shoes are the Lost and Found ones or the uh, Reimagined Chicago's, I guess you could say. These actually I really like, like mainly because of like how simple like the colorway is and stuff. And the funny story, I got these that day. Um, I don't know if you've seen the video. I'm gonna do the little card thing. The day I did the snipe shoot, I was Michael Jordan for the day. They gave them to me for free, like before retail or before it came out, which was tied. Like this, that was fire. You feel me? I, I was hyped. These retail for one hundred eighty dollars. It's reselling now or whatever. You can get them for four hundred sixty dollars. Last sale was four hundred six. That's od. That's like four times the price. That's nah. That's like two times, three times. I can't do math right now. These were the original sneakers that I was supposed to grab. Shattered Backboard 2.0s. These were the original sneakers I was supposed to grab for an eBay campaign, and then I bought them. I paid out of pocket, actually. And then later on, they're like, oh, you can't use those shoes, and they didn't really count me for it, so. I spent like seven on me, but we're not gonna talk about that. These really clean, I never had an orange shoe, so I was like, all right, this would be tight. 
tough to grab. Yeah, I actually want the Shatter Backward Ones as well, but that's B2E, I don't need all that. I'm sorry, they're technically called the Reverse Shatter Backwards. I just say 2.0 because they were the second one, so, uh, wow. These retail for $160, but they're currently going for, and they came out in 2016. Wow, these came out when I was a junior. No, a sophomore in high school, that's tough. <laughs> they're currently going for $889 in my size. I did not know that. Next pair of shoes on the list are the Air Jordan 1 Turbo Greens. These are my favorite Jordan 1, like, ever. But they were, all right, I think these are the first pair of shoes that I paid, like, over, like, $500 for. But it's okay. Wow, they actually dropped in price. This is really crazy, I ain't gonna lie. Retail 2019 for $160. They're currently going for $420. The last sale was $496, which is crazy. Yeah, these are my babies. I'm, I can never let go of these shoes. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. These, these is like love, you feel me? Next pair of shoes. These are like the younger brother of the Turbos, the Hyper Royals. They kind of have the same type of material made on the, um, I don't even know what to call it. I, I would be lying if I knew. These, I like the light blue. Like, the light blue is love. Feel me? I got these from DTLR when I was, like, actively grabbing shoes. And I don't really wear them, not gonna lie. Because, like, I don't know. They're a nice colorway. It's clean. But I don't really have no reasons to wear them that much often. You feel me? Retail 2021, $170. You can get them for $372. And last sale is $365. So, next pair of shoes. As you can see, I, I really, like, they're the UNC ones. These, I really caught because they were light blue. I'm not gonna lie. And I wanted the off-white ones, but I couldn't get the off-white ones, so this is the next best thing. They're just as clean as them. I think I even remember how much I paid for them. I think it was like seven. Something that I did not have to be paying for, not gonna lie. 160 in 2015. That was my freshman year of high school, bro. These, you can get them for $724 right now. Last sale was $715. I barely wear these too, because like the color's so bright, like you can't really rock them as much, or I'm just not, I don't like playing around with colors too much. My next pair of shoes are the Core Purple 2.0s. Honestly, I, I don't even remember when I grabbed these. I, gra I think I grabbed them in a, I think, I grabbed them in a spot called Soul Ply. At the time, I had no purple shoes, and I was like, let me get a purple shoe, and that's exactly what I did. I barely wear these as well. I think the last time I wore them when I went to Canada. In 2020, they retail for $170, and they're currently going for $300, and the same for the last sale, so not that bad, I guess. My next pair of shoes are the Rookie of the Years. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like when I got these, I bought these twice. The first time I had them, really liked them, and then I went through a whole de like I went through a recession with myself. I was just buying too much, and I had to sell a bunch of shoes. I sold these, and I was like, later on, I was like, yo, I need to get these back. So I got them back. These are my second pair, technically. These dropped in 2018. Oh, okay, okay, it's not bad. That was a junior year. For 160, and currently you can get them for 540 or 563 was the last sale. You feel me? Next pair of shoes were one of my recent cops, and I actually really like these. Um, they're the Jordan One like Gore-Tex, I think something like that. I'll put the right name on the screen, but I grabbed these because I started liking low tops when I got the neutral grays, and these ones are actually my size, size 11. And I like the same. They use the same type of foam that they did with like the off-white joints, like it's like open and stuff, and I like that feel. I could. Slip so these on and rock them any day though. They're the Jordan 1 Low OG EX or OGX. I don't know. They were like a sleeper because no one really bought them or whatever. I bought them off sneakers. Uh, they dropped this last year apparently for $140. You can get them now for $170 and the last sale was $191. Whoever paid $191 just got gypped, not gonna lie. Next pair of shoes are another pair of shoes that I had two pairs of and I just sold one and then bought another one. These are definitely more like beater sneakers. The first pair I bought probably just as beat they were used but these drinks right here, they've done seen. I think these seen Sandy. No, no. They've been to Puerto Rico. They've been to Canada. They've been a lot of places. I ain't gonna lie, but the shadow one the OG shadow ones because I had the shadow 2.0s But I sold them because I don't really like that compared to these these dropped in 2018 uh, for 160 and you can get them now for $460. Same thing with the last sale for 400. Golly. Now we're getting to the next generation or next, I don't know. These are the Jordan 2 Lucky Greens. These, when I grabbed them, it was a Sunday that I was not supposed to be spending money. I was at the Gloucester outlets and these were sitting. I wanted these for a minute. When they dropped, my homie was supposed to hit me. He did not hit me. These were sitting for the longest. They were on sale. I ended up paying, because these retail, I think for like 180. I ended up paying $114, I believe, for this and something else. So, yeah, I really like these. I like the cream on the midsole. Still haven't worn these yet, but I already have a fit planned in my head for them. Wow, these are under retail. They retail 2023 for 175, and you can get them for 163 dollars. 162 last sale. Next pair of shoes are the the Union Twos. Rattan, Rattan, 
I think it's Ratson or whatever, you feel me? I think I won it through the raffle. My homie, I don't know if y'all done. I got them because they're a neutral pair of shoes. I didn't really like the orange or like yellowish orange, if you want to call it. Because of how neutral they are, I wear my shoes like cargos anyway, so it covers up to here. So these are really valid, not gonna lie. I only wore them a few times. Highlight time, I wore these on my birthday when I went to Canada for a, I went to Canada on a day trip for my birthday. I think y'all seen that video too, but. And they retailed at 225. Actually, 11 and a half is 225. Last sale, 221. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang. So these are going for exactly what they came out for. That's that's tough. That's the first pair of shoes that did that. Next pair of shoes. This is what got me in the AMAs and got to be one of my top shoes that I love. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I could wear, I wear all the time, almost any time. The AMM threes. These are fire. I think I bought these on credit. Yeah, I sure did. I paid resale for these like five or six hundred dollars. Not gonna lie to y'all. Uh, but the attention to detail all around is fire. They have, it has a different tongue and got quilted inside. The quality is valid. I wear these all the time. You can see by the creases. And and honestly, I'm gonna keep wearing them because I really love these shoes. First of all, they retail for 200 in 2021. Right now, you can get them for 605, and last it was 550. That's sheesh. Next pair of shoes are the Black Cement 3s. I got a, a mean scuff, and I don't even remember how. These I also pay retail for, resell for, like 500 I think I paid for. These dropped in 2018 for $200. The size 11, they're going for $530, so still around the same price that I paid for. And last sale was $470. Finally, we're on the fours. Next pair, we have the Jordan 4 Oreos, white Oreos. I remember when these dropped, I really liked them until I found out that they have the red uh, Jordan logo and it just ruined the whole all white type of thing how much are they going for now these dropped in 2021 uh, for $190 and you can get them now wow these actually you can get them now for $440 last sale was 402 that's crazy these shoes I had two pairs of these I ain't gonna lie these are uh, Jordan 4 cool grays the first pair I grabbed because my boy Lewis had them they were really nice shoes and I, this is when I first get into sneakers I caught that pair loved them wear them all the time the second pair that I got I grabbed a sneaker con as well for like 275 I think. I gave Ron my other pair of these. These dropped my senior year of high school. Retail at 190 going for $517. And I paid 275 That's a good deal. Next pair of shoes, we have the Union 4s. Oh my, wait, these are my first pair of Union collabs that I got. Luckily, this is from uh, my boy Lewis. Uh, he gifted me these after we went on a game show, the eBay. I don't even remember what the game show was called, but essentially he used the gift card that he got and got me a pair of these, and I appreciate him for these. Uh, these is a vibe. I took off the, um, so when you first get them, they're like this and they're sewn together. I took that off so you can see the tongue because I like that better, not gonna lie. Used to wear them a lot, but I didn't want to like over wear them, so now they kind of just sit in the box. But yeah, maybe I should start rocking these a lot more. Um, Union for Off Noirs. They retailed at 250 in 2020, and you can currently get them for $805. Last sale was $675 though. Somebody was like, nah, I'll just get them off my hand. <laughs> Next pair of shoes are my Bread 4s. I didn't even pay for it. My brother, I bought him a PS5 back when they were like really hard to get. And he just gave me these in like $400, I think, or $200. And I was like, yo, that's a pretty good deal. I changed the laces on them, as you can see, so I was trying to be different, nothing too crazy. These, 2019, they dropped for $200. I was still in high school, I was a freshman, I mean a junior, I mean senior, wow. You can get them for $535. Last sale was 500, wow. All right, now these shoes, they're new to the collection, but like not new in any terms. Ever, the Bordeaux Sevens, these are my favorite Sevens back when they like first like dropped, but obviously I did not have any to get those. These are my brother. We went to go play basketball. I needed these to play basketball. Play basketball in them, and now I just have them. You could tell they're worn. Look, y'all see that? Like they are, they have been used. I, I tell you that much. Dropped when I was a freshman, yo. And they not going for much. 2015, could have bought these. Yo, I got a I got a job freshman year summer. I could have bought these instead of the freaking my style back then. I was rocking Pumas and Adidas ZX Fluxes, bro. It was bad. Now they're going for four hundred seventy four dollars. Last sale was three sixty. I don't even know what size these are. Maybe I got a newer pair and just like to replace these. Cause I actually would wear them if I had like the filming here. Yeah. Okay, now we're on to the last pair of Jordan sneakers. These are the cool gray 11s that dropped, I believe, last year. Uh, nothing crazy. Grab them off DTLR and stuff. And these were a casual wear too. You can rock them in almost anything because they're like they're gray, like duh, like come on. Oh, they dropped 2021. Sorry, at 225. Now you can get them at 367. And uh, last sale is 363. Now we are on to Nike. All the Nikes or Nikes I have are dunks essentially, the simple colors. And at the time, like they were super expensive. Like, I don't know what happened, but dunks like like grew and bred and stuff. But 
Yeah. I just got these though. These are the uh, the Brazil Dunks. I grabbed them from my boy Adam and they're so clean, like not gonna lie. Freaking love these. Yeah, they're not as crazy as before. These used to go for like seven, I think. Seven, eight hundred dollars at one point. hundred dollars in 2020. And now they're going for three hundred twenty dollars. And the last sale was two eighty four. That's crazy. Dunk hype is really dead. This next pair, I wanted for a grip, and I made sure to get them from my boy Adam as well. Use the St. John Dunks. When I got these, I was so hyped. Y'all can tell I wear them often. Like, I wear them often. It's like, if I got a shoe that I like, I'm gonna wear that joint. Not gonna lie to y'all, bro. So, technically, University Red, sorry. $100 as well, dropped in 2020. These you can get at $400. Four times the price. Sheesh. These joints, oh, I wanted for a grip. And they were gifted to me. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. The Kentucky Dunks. Again, all like these past three shoes at one point were 800 plus, bro. I love these. They're blue, my favorite color. Like, come on, man. Apparently, they dropped the same shoe. So I don't know if they're the 2020 or the 2022. They literally have it labeled under the same thing on StockX. So I guess they're the same exact shoe. Nothing's different. $100. You can get them now for $245. Last sale was $249. Remember, I said they were $800 at one point, bro. And the last pair of dunks that I have, court purple dunks, literally just purple and white. Super clean, I like these, I ain't gonna lie. Like, laces are super fresh, you feel me? Like, I don't even untie these. I don't even tie, I don't untie a bunch of sneakers, not gonna lie, they become slip-ons at one point. But one of the only sneakers I grab on the sneakers app. Sneakers app hates me, that's why I don't have the app downloaded anymore. Apparently, they're the championship court purple, and they dropped at 100, and now they're going for 204. Yeah, 204, last sale was 204, so. For my last pair of Nikes, we have my one and only pair of Air Forces. I had a few pairs, actually, but these were custom by my boy Emmanuel. Love that guy. That's the only reason why I keep the shoes, because he, like, customized them. They go for $90, or they changed the price on these, apparently. They're $110 now? That's wild. Okay, so before my camera uh, decided to stop recording, these are called the White Green uh, New Balance Y50, and they retail at $120, and they're currently going for $153. Next three pairs are collaborations with uh, Ame Leon Dior, or ALD. So these are the ALD 550s that I paid for last year, and they just came in this year. These are the Ame Leon Dior Olive 550s. Uh, they retail at 130, 2022, bro, and I'm just getting them. I just got them like last week. Yeah, they're going for 140, last sale is 168. Yeah, I haven't even worn them yet, but they're clean. I always like the 550 colorways. I mean, uh, Silhouette. You can wear them to like a business beanie or you can just rock them out. The next pair are the white grays, the 550s. These I grabbed last year, I believe. I wore them a lot though, because of how like neutral they are and how much you can wear them with. Retailed at 130 in 2020. And you can get them now at 309. Last sale was 285. Next pair are the Ame Leon white leather. I barely wear these as well though. I kinda, if y'all haven't seen a thing, theme. I got a lot of cream shoes or just shoes that I can rock all the time. It's retail at 130 last year. Now you can get it for 154. Last sale was 139. For my last pair of 550s, we have the Joe Fresh Goods. I wore them one time on a date. Uh, they got they got beat up, not gonna lie to you. One day in New York and these joints was trash, like the toe box. Huh. I, I didn't even do anything crazy. I was stepping. Nicely, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to mess up anything. These retailed at 120, and they are currently going for 280, or uh, last sale was 225. Next pair of New Balances, we have the 574. I call these my dad shoes, because literally, like, exactly what they are. They're very comfortable, though. I wear these at my shoots, because they'd be asking for, like, casual sneakers or something like that, and I always know these will work, because why wouldn't they work? These are called the Nimbus Clouds, and they retail at $85, and they are going for 90. You'll get some type of profit. Next pair of New Balances, we have the 2002Rs. I don't even know what these are called, I'm not gonna lie. I bought two pairs of these from DTLR. I just liked how 2002Rs like looked because of how like nicely they fit on cargos. So these are called the Off-White, apparently. Um, they dropped for 120 and they are currently, they're going for 175. And this is the second pair that I also grabbed and these are called the Marblehead Light Aluminum. And you can get them for 120. Whoever paid 174 last for these, Crazy, but another shoe you can slip on to go with almost anything. Come on now. Last pair of New Balances are the 990 V3s. I got sent these by uh, DTLR, much appreciated. They've been my gym shoes, actually. These were a collab. They're called the MI USA DTLR Grayscale. That's a lot. Yeah, they dropped for 215 and they're currently going for 279. Now we are on to Adidas. These 
are my Adidas Quantum or Yeezy. Sorry, these are my Yeezy Quantum. They're my ball shoes now, like genuine ball shoes. But I also liked how they fall on cargoes. They they, they do a perfect job. Like I'm telling you, these are the uh, Barium colorway, by the way, and they dropped at two hundred fifty dollars. They are currently selling for one hundred sixty six. Last sale was 213. Next pair of shoes are the Yeezy Foam Runners. Yeah, I haven't worn these in forever though. They were under my bed for the longest. Maybe I should start rocking them. I just don't like when you wear socks, your feet get stuck right here and it's annoying. They retail at $80 and they're currently selling for 256. And our last pair for Adidas are the Yeezy Slides. Um, as you can see, there's a running trend here. I, I actually sold all of my actual Yeezy. They dropped at $60, y'all. These were $60, and they're currently going for $269. That's that's tough. Now, we are on to Puma. So, working with Puma for the past, like, year or two, I'm not going to show basic joints. I'll be getting, like, the Puma suede joints, but just any customs or any, like, personal joints that they sent over. These are the Puma Amy collabs, or the slip streams. And I actually really like these because like Puma kind of, it's like their take on like the LV trainers and shoes like that. But I really liked it, like there's different material up here with the gum bottoms and I like fat laces which are fire with the green accents on the side. Like, this is a clean shoe, I'm not gonna lie. And Amy, the little heart thing, freaking cute, man. These retail at 130, they dropped in 2022 apparently, did not know that. Uh, you can get them for $140. Next pair are uh, another pair of slipstreams that they sent over. I used in a uh, thing, only wore them once, so I kind of want to give away some of these Puma shoes. If you want some Pumas, let me know. These are called the White Intense Red Nimbus Cloud. The Slipstream Invader, yes, yes it is. $85 is the retail. They are currently going for $118. Another pair of slip streams, but I customized with the rope laces and the snakes in on the side. Uh, my friend Maya, she did her dang on these. I ain't gonna lie. Yo. She's, she's also customized another pair of dunks I had. But these joints, priceless. Come on, man. Priceless. Camera overheated again. So I, I gotta move quick, you feel me? Some of these Pumas, I'm just not even adding to the list for real, for real. I like these. I never even like wore these. Like I remember they got sent, but I don't even know what type of joints they are. So if anyone wants these, you know where to get them. These joints right here, they were a custom when I went to my Puma Suede collab like recently. Like there were some big names there. Well, some of the big names, you feel me? They can say my name on it. <laughs> King Asalu, big dog type of you feel me? Priceless. These are another pair of shoes that I have not worn ever. I think they're Puma Nitros or whatever, like some workout shoes. Maybe I might actually use them to work out. They're size 11, so I actually doubt it. Okay, now onto shoes that I've actually used and stuff. These are the Puma MB1s, uh, Mellow Mello, Mello Balls shoe. I think they're the Galaxy ones. I played basketball on them, which was like cool. Yeah, I actually hate the grip on these. I cannot use these to play basketball because the grip actually stinks. They retailed at 125 and they currently go for 142. Last sale is 204. Next pair of shoes, we're moving on to Asics. These are the only Asics pair that I actually have, but I actually like them because of the cream and green colorway. They're the Awake Asic Collab. As you can see, ASIC right there, I mean awake right there. Retail for $130, and they're currently $79. I don't remember how much I paid for these, but I definitely don't think I paid over $100 for them. Yeah, a nice slip-on sneaker. They literally have like a weird tongue that it's not like a regular tongue you can literally slip on your shoes, so. We're on the last two rows of sneakers. These next four pair, well, four pairs of shoes are all Crocs. We're on the Crocs section now. I kinda went a little crazy when Salehi Benberry dropped his Crocs, so I got four pairs. These are the Cobbler, the Cobbler colorway. They retailed at $85, currently at 87. Last sale was 96. These, I believe, are the Tide. 85 and they're also at 85 then we got the urchin colorway these reach at 85 these are actually at 154 which is crazy i didn't think these they're like lavender so i thought okay next pair are the all black ones these ones i wear the most last three i actually have dust on all of them because i do not wear them but we're not going to talk about that the black ones which you think are called sack they're called sasquatch you would think i have more they're more expensive but they're 85 dollars. they actually go for 114 now these are i freaking wear these all the time these are my slip-ons in my uh, apartment building i got multiple compliments on these not gonna lie they drop for 70 dollars then they go for 78 you know I mean? but these they glow in the dark super fire wild tub now we are we're slowly getting down the list all right we are on the reebok section now these i got sent in the mail all white pair apparently the bb 400s 
Yeah, I got these sent by Reebok themselves and I appreciate them for that. Let's see how much, cause I actually been wearing this colorway a lot. I haven't worn the white ones cause I think because I don't like the gum bottoms. So there's only three pair of these on StockX and they all retailed at $130. So I guess we're gonna say these are 132. Now we're on the Hoka. Uh, we're, I got both of these shoes from my uh, collaboration with them. Uh, these are a hiking shoe. I had to go hiking for that, which is actually a pretty cool experience. I should go check my Instagram for that. And I got these. I used to work running actually a lot because they're very comfortable. I did not know how comfortable Hoka's were. They retail 130 and they're going for 146. These, they retail at 220, 220. And they're currently going for $460. Wow. Last sale was 227 also. Next, we have, they're not cool cars, but they are another guy. I think it was Omi in a Hellcat or Omi and Omni, I don't know. Yeah, I got them from, um, I was in a shoot for it and they let me keep the shoes. So I didn't pay for them and I never really wore them ever. I never wore these ones actually, um, besides that shoot day. So his shoes go for $200. These ones, I believe I actually wore them out a couple times, but another pair. These Omi Hellcat joints, uh, these are $200 as well. Now, these next three pairs of shoes are all of my designer designer shoes or whatever. Um, all of them were bought on impulse, per, like impulse thought processes, and I was in a sad space, so I just thought buying something would do something. You don't need expensive shoes, y'all. I'm just letting you know now. I should have said that in the beginning, but. These are my McQueens, uh, the all white, they're like traditional one. They're like their sneaker or whatever. Um, I, I, I wear these a lot, not gonna lie to you. You can tell by the laces, they are now off-white. Um, these, I bought these in Canada, actually. And the dude that sold me the shoes, he's a very nice guy. On my birthday the next year, he said happy birthday to me. Texted me and everything, that was a wild tough. I think for 800, something like that, I, I don't even know, let me see. Aha, these are the ivory black colorway. There's no freaking way that, that's disgusting. I don't even wanna read this out loud because the how much I actually paid for it. What? Nah, okay, so these are, they retail at 490. Yeah, they retail at 490, and they're currently going, currently going for 475. How? Maybe because it was Canada? That might make more sense. I don't know, because there's a, there's a difference there. But 490 to 700, I don't think that works out. I might have just got gypped. Next pair of shoes are my Ameris, my low top Ameri Skeleton Lows, I believe they're called. Uh, I got them in the brown because I wear these tones more or less like often to be honest. These shoes made me realize that my left foot is either bigger or smaller than my right. Cause look at the crease here and there's no crease there. Designer shoes or whatever, I, shoes are shoes, I'm gonna wear them, you feel me? Another one I paid a good amount for. Don't really remember to be honest, but we're gonna see how much they, they go for apparently. So yeah, a Mary Skeleton Top Blues, white, brown, white, brown, white. They retail for $590 and they are currently going for 604. Last pair though are my Rick Owens. Oh my gosh, and I wear these. I've worn these to New York a bunch of times and you can tell by the wear and the lace color, yeah. But I generally like these though. You can rock them with anything. I say the only thing is certain pants, they low key do like clown shoes. These retail for $715. Currently going, for, well last sale was $800. There is no buy or ask, so. All right, last but not least, I have some Doc Martens. Huh. These were a good grab. Like I wear these a good amount with certain fits and I feel like they come out pretty nicely. I don't even remember. Let's just call it like 140, bro. I don't even know. Yes, 140, 140, 140. I don't even know what the tally is, but I do know these shoes here came up to 64 and I have about like six or seven other pairs that aren't in this video. So, I have like 70 plus pairs of sneakers. For a dude that has two feet, that is a lot. I don't even care. That's, um, I've kind of understood what materialism is and that's, this shows it. But, um, I generally liked all this stuff, you feel me? Like, everything had a meaning behind it besides the designer stuff a lot. Um, but everything has been worn for the most part or been used. So technically, it's all a write-off. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna fill this and y'all can see as well. And uh, then we're gonna finish the video. Yeah. Here we go. And that's it. Um, 
right now, right here is like 56 pairs of shoes, I believe. If I'm doing math correctly, it's eight across. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, it's 48 pairs of shoes right here. Yeah, 48 pairs of shoes right here. Um, the other pairs, I put some over there. Those are a giveaway pair, so I put some under my bed and um, inside the closets that I have, which are packed, as you can see. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't like, comment, and subscribe. Peep to the next one. I'm gonna next one probably gonna be like a cool sit down drink. I want to talk to you guys. Um, or actually, it might be a vlog tomorrow. We gonna see. But uh, I'm gonna catch up.